as a scientific officer in NEA encompasses overseeing the ambient air monitoring program, evaluating new technologies for air quality monitoring, as well as responding to public inquiries on air quality and haze. My current role as an engineer involves three major components. The first component is the management of our existing water quality monitoring network, which includes eight boy-based monitoring stations situated around the coastal waters of Singapore, and also an operational management system, which allows us to readily access water quality data as well as perform trend analysis. The second component will be the test bidding of new innovative technologies that will help us to further enhance our monitoring capabilities for both air and water quality. The third component will be working with external consultants to develop models such as the oil spill particle tracking model or the water quality model that will provide us with data-driven insights to help facilitate pollution incident reporting as well as potential shoreline cleanup operations. We use regulatory standard air monitoring equipment for each of the criteria pollutants which are housed in the 22 air monitoring stations across Singapore. These are conventional air monitoring stations measuring 2 to 3 meters in length and width. Over the last two years, NEA has been looking into leveraging the use of compact air monitoring systems for deployment in areas with limited space and high pedestrian traffic. So there are actually two main ways in which we monitor water quality. The first is in situ and the second is ex situ. In situ means water quality is actually taken on the actual site via a range of sensors which we deploy on our Neptune buoys. For ex situ, it is more of a traditional method in which water samples are collected on site and subsequently transported to the lab for further testing and analysis. One of the more common inquiries received are regarding hazy skies and poor visibility. These are often tied to the air being more polluted and yet the PSI on our haze website remains in the good to moderate range. These are usually attributed to the high humidity where the presence of water droplets in the atmosphere can scatter light, giving a sense of light hazy conditions, as well as the accumulation of aerosols and particulate matter under light wind conditions. One of the most commonly received feedback from the public is whether it is safe to enter seawaters at recreational beaches. For recreational beaches, the key parameter of concern is Enterococcus, which is a type of bacteria that generally indicates fecal pollution in the waters and therefore pose significant health risks to vulnerable groups. Since October 2020, NEA has introduced the Beach Short-Term Water Quality Information, which provides the weekly water quality bendings with accompanying advisories to enable the public to safeguard their health when engaging in recreational beach water activities. The aspect that I really enjoy about my job is that it allows for a lot of collaboration and communication with um, different government agencies, university academics, as well as private consultants. In the process, I get to interact and exchange ideas with very talented people that's very specialised in their field of work, uh, which allows me to really um, acquire new knowledge and broaden my horizon. The biggest challenge so far would be finding suitable locations to site our stations for long-term air quality monitoring. As Singapore is land scarce and land use is ever-changing, thorough planning and review is required to ensure that the station's location continue to meet internal siting guidelines even as the land around the area develops. One of the biggest challenges that we face in water quality monitoring is actually this phenomenon known as biofouling, which is when microorganisms, plants or algae starts to accumulate and grow on the surface of our water quality sensors. And to mitigate this, uh, we're currently embarking on quite a few projects, one of which is the Neptune Smart Flushing System, where we design engineering solutions to help mitigate this problem. It requires an enormous amount of time and effort from identifying a new technology to finally operationalizing and implementing it for our routine operational purposes. In the process, we have to test and validate the accuracy, the measurement ranges as well as the operating conditions of this new technology to ensure that it is reliable and robust to adapt to changing environmental conditions. When air quality is brought up, most people will know that NEA monitors the six criteria pollutants that make up the PSI, as well as volatile organic compounds. 
There are many other compounds that NEA looks into, such as heavy metals in ambient air, dioxins, as well as other emissions from industries. Our team also keeps a close eye on emerging pollutants that may impact air quality and periodically reviews our monitoring programs to ensure that the standards and methods are up to date.